We are now hearing from the two Minneapolis police officers involved in the shooting of Jamar Clark. He was shot and killed last November on Plymouth Avenue North. Officers were responding to a call for help by paramedics. They reported treating a domestic abuse victim, and that victim told paramedics that Clark abused her. We hear now from the officer who pulled the trigger and why he said he did it. Ashley Roberts brings us some of the audio recordings from when the BCA interviewed the officers two days after the shooting. Ashley. Good morning, Jason. The officers explained what happened during their exchange with Jamar Clark in more than two hours of recorded interviews. Both Mark Ringenberg and Dustin Schwartz described their initial encounter with Clark as weird. They say he had a, quote, thousand-mile stare. The officers were on the scene for 61 seconds before Schwartzy pulled the trigger. And I keep telling Dustin, he's got my gun, he's got my gun. As soon as officers Ringenberg and Schwartzy arrived on scene, they were met by a paramedic supervisor who pointed to Jamar Clark as the man trying to get into the back of the ambulance to reach assault victim Ray and Hayes. Ringenberg says he asked Clark several times to take his hands out of his pockets, and he refused. Rienberg says he was forced to take Clark down. He says during the takedown, he was on Clark's side in a weird position. In the recording, Rienberg says he tried to roll away, but his gun went from his right hip to the small of his back. He says it was then Clark went for his gun. I, I thought I was going to die at that point. Um, I, I had no control of my gun. This guy didn't seem to, to care what happened to him or us or anybody else. The only thing I could think of to do was to save our lives and anybody else that was in that immediate area of any danger. So I pulled the trigger. Shorts, he told investigators his gun didn't go off the first time. He said it was the second shot that ended the struggle. The officer said it was Clark's life or theirs. Ashley, we talked with the victim, Rayanne Hayes, the woman who was in the ambulance that led to that 911 call. Yeah, that's right, Jason. Hayes spoke to police hours after the shooting and shared her story in an exclusive interview with WCCO just last week. But her accounts of what happened that night have changed. You'll hear some of her interview with the police coming up in our next half hour. Yeah, it's quite interesting considering all of the uh, uh, commotion and all of the talk surrounding uh, Rayanne Hayes. Ashley, thank you.